you will become a culture shame uh, because everyone will be like, how could she do this? You know, her culture says this and that. My name is Immaculate Nawiri. I got involved with Safe Sisters in uh, 2017, initially when uh, it was the implementation stage. Safe Sister itself is a fellowship program for women to be able to respond to the challenges that they re receive in their day-to-day -day work, working online. The threat that we look at and try to solve with Safe Sister is that not so many women have uh, knowledge about digital security. Yes, they are online, but then they don't know how to secure themselves. They think it's just a matter of opening an account and posting anything that you want. Women are more harassed online than, than men because we still have this thing of uh, women are the, the weaker sex, they can't fight for themselves. That's why there's a difference, like a man can stand up for himself, but then a woman will be like, let me withdraw from you know, this internet space and give it some time, and yet they're entitled to be online. revenge porn that has been uh, rampant recently in uh, um, Uganda. We've had so many celebrities that have been uh, a part of this. So Silvia Ravogo had uh, a case. First of all, she's uh, a journalist and a member of parliament, uh, the Ugandan parliament, and she had a case of uh, a student uh, sending her messages, advances, uh, telling her how he loves her and all that. And she felt uncomfortable about this whole situation. Of course, she went out and told him that, you know what, I don't like this, can you stop? But then the, the, the student continued. So she ended up filing a case in court against the student. It kind of enlightened every uh, woman out there because now people know that, oh, I can go to court, you know, uh, to report such as this case. I don't have to sit uh, at home and cry, you know, about certain things. The impact of uh, cyber attacks on people emotionally, their self-esteem, of course, will decline. And physically, they won't be uh, free with other people. They won't talk to other people. They'll keep to themselves. And culturally, of course, you'll, you'll become a cultural shame. Uh, because everyone will be like, how could she do this, you know, her culture says this and that. To start with, how many women have smartphones on them? And do they know how to use this smartphone or what they can access with this smartphone? How many people know that these programs are there? How many people have networks that they can connect with? It's, if you look at a Safe Sister program, it's only mostly like people in the urban setting that will know about this program. But then how do you reach the rural person? The fact that we've had a bunch of women be a part of this makes me so proud. The fact that they went out and they picked up the information and decided to go and reach out to other women. Uh, through the organizations that they've created and through being a part of different panels and also ending up receiving awards. Why I still fight every day and wake up every morning to be a part of this journey is the women out there are, have been, I'm being a human rights defender right now by being a voice of the voiceless. Uh, so being a part of this struggle and helping women understand and stop being ignorant and teaching them every day. We still have a long way to go for it to be perfect. This keeps me going and waking up every morning just to be a part of this.